Good morning. So this is our last assembly of the school year and our value this half term has been fairness. And this week the focus is I am fair to the different communities that I live with. So first of all, let's have a, a reminder because we have talked about this in previous assemblies, but what is a community? Well, a community is really where you live and the people who live there with you, who you share that place with. So it could be your school, it could be your street and the people that live there, your neighborhood, the area where you live and all the people that live there with you, your town and your local area, any clubs that you go to or you belong to. So for example, a youth club is part of your community and all the different people who use the services there, who live there, and who share that community with you. So when we're thinking about being fair to our, the people in our community, it's also important to think about how people are different. And again, this is something that we have looked at in other assemblies, but just as a reminder, people are different in lots of ways. It could be different skin color, different hair color, different sizes, different likes and dislikes, different types of family groups, pe different people that we love, people have different abilities, and people wear different types of clothes. That's just a few examples of ways that people are different. So we know that everybody is different and we know that sometimes people might need um, different types of help so somebody might need more help with one thing than somebody else um, but what can we do as well as understand that what can we do to help treat people fairly so here's some things that we could do share things don't cheat follow the rules take turns listen to others, be respectful to others, help others, and be honest. And all those things are examples of things that everybody can do to ensure that we're doing what we can to help ensure that people are treated fairly. So it's important to to treat people in our communities fairly and we know that sometimes people are different and we know that sometimes people need um, different help but everybody needs to be treated with the same respect and everybody needs to be given equal opportunities and this story is quite a fun story which shows how um, giving people different people opportunities can be rewarding and it's called Alien Tea on planet Zumzi and it's by Tony Mitten and Guy Parker Reese. If you take a rocket to the outer edge of space you'll come across a funny little alien place. The alien peoples call it planet Zumzi and they're meeting here today for a special picnic tea. It seems really quiet and there's no one around but hey just a minute. Now, what's that sound? Buzz, buzz, buzz. It's a travelling machine and the creature's getting out. Wow, they're all bright green. They've brought a bag of biscuits all bendy and round. And when you take a bite, they make a musical sound. It's an alien party on planet Zumzi. So bring along some goodies for the alien tea. Zaka, zaka, zaka. Now what's this here? A crazy kind of capsule is beginning to appear. A door slides open with a click and a whir. And out come creatures all covered with fur. They're jolly and they're yellow and they're carrying a cake. It wiggles and it giggles when they give it a shake. It's an alien party on planet Zumzi. So bring along some goodies for the alien tea. Zinger, zinger, zing. What a tingly little tune. 
A space shuttle's landing. It'll be here soon. Down comes a ladder. Out pops a head. This bunch of aliens are bald, round and red. They're juggling with trays full of pizza from space. It rises when you want it and then it hovers near your face. It's an alien party on planet Zumzi. So let's get started with the alien tea. Zang, clang, bang. What a rackety row. A monster in a moonship is landing right now. He huffs and he hurries. He can see that he's late. Here he comes puffing with a big round plate. It's loaded with dollops, all gloopy and blue. They quiver and they shiver like rubbery goo. They're humming and they're glowing like magical jelly and hissing with steam which is purple and smelly. The aliens holler and some hold their nose. Some shake their bottoms and wave their toes. Then they all shout together, We're not eating those! Poor old monster. He's sliding away. But as he wobbles off, what's happening? Hey! One little alien, bald, round and red, scuttles to the plate and then swivels his head. He sticks out a feeler to give the gloop a prod. He picks it and he licks it. He's starting to nod. He scoops it and slurps it, then gives a long sigh. This stuff is yummy. Just give it a try. Quickly, the others come whiffling around. They start to dip in with a dolloping sound. It looks a bit yucky as it sits on the plate. It's gloppy, it's gloopy, but it tastes just great. The little red alien bleeps a loud shout. Hey there, monster, don't be left out. Come back and party, stay here with us. We're sorry we hurt you by making a fuss. Monster cheers up and he wobbles their way. They jump up and down and they all cheer, yay! It's an alien party on planet Zumzi and we're all tucking into our alien tea. The food is so yummy, they fill up their tummies. But look who's coming. It's the alien mummies. They warble goodbyes with a burble and bleep. It's getting near bedtime. They need their sleep. They zip off, they zap off, they spin into space till all we can see is a quiet, still place. And no one would guess if they came to Zumzi that this was the home of the alien tea. So be more like the little red bald alien and treat people fairly. Give people all the opportunities that you can and ensure that they have the same fair chances and show that you can be fair to the different communities that you live with. <laughs>